Hey, how's it going guys? Matt here from Toasty DIY, and I'm here with a very quick home office tour video. As you can see right here, this is my home office. Now, for those who do not know, I primarily work at our office, which is like Toasty Bros headquarters, but recently I moved into my own place, and well, I ended up getting this home office area for me to, well, work from home when I did work at another job managing a bunch of YouTube content creators. As of recent, I haven't been able to use this as much, but with the conception of the Toasty DIY channel, I've been using it as my filming space to make tutorials for you guys, which if you have any suggestions for any future tutorials, comment down below and I'd be happy to look into doing it. Now this home office is actually an office that is shared by my girlfriend and I, and I will be having a video coming to the Toasty DIY channel very soon where I'll actually be showing off a computer we'll be building for her, which I'll talk about here in a minute. But let's not waste any more time and get into the tour. Now this is actually a bedroom originally. This was supposed to be the master bedroom because as you can tell in this uh, townhome that I'm in, there is a bathroom over there but with this room it was a little bit too narrow to actually be used as a bedroom so my girlfriend said you know what we can turn this into the home office and you know what I was more than happy to do that so here's a quick little tour over here as you can tell we have a little corner over here with my Space Jam poster that I've used before um, over here is a little cubicle that has just generic stuff we have some pictures we have a light this light right here is one of the two lights in the room the Philips Hue Go lights uh, these little ball lights are controllable via my smartphone they can change change colors and they do add a lot of light to the room. Speaking of light, I do have an LED strip that spans across the entire room. Um, I've always wanted to do this, but I never really implemented it. Um, it's definitely not put up perfectly. As you can tell, it's really not that straight, but it does do a good job adding a lot of light to this room because during the day, since there's no overhead lighting, you know, sometimes it gets really dark and at night it looks really cool being able to have that effect turned on. We'll mess with some of the RGB settings in a minute. The controller is over at my desk over there, but overall this room in itself is really big for an office. I am using a wide angle lens, so it might look a lot bigger than it actually is, but it is still relatively large. I, I can keep my mini fridge over here. I can have my girlfriend's desk, which we put together. And as I mentioned, she will be using with her PC in the future once she builds it. And then I can have my Ikea desk combo, which I can talk about in just a second. Over here, I do have a TV mounted, which now has a basketball goal over it. Um, we have been using this temporarily whenever I want to play games off my PC. I end up running like an HDMI cable from my PC to this TV if we want to play a game on it. Sometimes we do like Fall Guys and stuff. Um, that's something that we have done in the past. But as you can tell, we have not been utilizing it because there is a mini basketball goal over it. Definitely not the best place for it, but you know what? I love basketball, so there it is. Now let's talk about what most of you all came here for, my desk setup. This right here is the IKEA countertop combo kit. This is like the number one meta desk that people have been using recently. What we have right here is the uh, Carby countertop with the Alex drawer units. This whole combo about four years ago was honestly, I think around $400. It's definitely not the cheapest, but in terms of getting something that's lasted me four plus years without any worries whatsoever, I'm very happy with it. One thing I have been considering is maybe investing in some motorized legs for this. Um, it would very easily attach to the countertop and could be used with the drawer unit still. It's something I have looked into and it is possible based on the weight of the countertop. So maybe in the future, I'll look into that. But overall, this IKEA combo has been really awesome for me. One of the main concerns people do have is the stability in the middle, considering there's literally no bar in the middle. And after four years of use, there has been zero bowing in the middle, even having a computer monitor and stuff in the center of this desk. So now let's talk about my chair real quick. This right here is a very recent addition. When I moved into this place, I had this chair right here, which is a Maxonomic gaming chair. Don't really use it anymore because, well, it's starting to show some age here. If you look right here, it's starting to fray a little bit, you know, whatever. So my girlfriend got the hand-me-down chair. But over here, we have what is called the Ergo Chair 2 from Autonomous. This chair is kind of like the cheaper alternative to the very expensive ergonomic chairs that are out there. It's, I think, around like $350 what I paid for it. But honestly, for the money, I've been very happy with it. Again, I invested in this when I was working from home at my desk for about like four or five hours a day with my other job that wasn't the YouTube channel. But now that I have the YouTube channel, I really don't sit at this desk nearly as much, but you know, it's still a very nice chair. When I do game in it occasionally, I really do like it and I have no problems using it. And it's actually pretty nice looking, it has a futuristic look to it, not like every other traditional gaming chair. And uh, well, I was very excited to get it and it was actually very easy to put together. So now we're gonna sit down in my chair and take a look at my actual setup. So we'll start from the right here with my PC, which I will leave a link in the description down below 
below to as many of the things as I possibly can that is included in this video. But this PC is my H510 Elite Sticker Bomb PC featuring a Ryzen 7 3700X and a 2080 Super. Really, it's definitely an awesome computer and way too cool for my use case. I have that awesome NZXT liquid cooler that you can change the logo on, and I kind of have this retro wave vibe going with it right now, and I'm actually very happy with it. This right here is my ring light, which I use with the camera I'm actually recording with right now for all my voiceovers and tutorials that I do, which I am using the Panasonic G7 for those who are interested. And then below that is a shaker cup because, well, I love my shaker cup stuff. And then this is the remote for the RGB that I was talking about. I can just change the mode to a wave if I want to. There's a lot of different color modes that I can go with if I want to, but I normally like to leave it on purple because I think that looks the coolest in my opinion. So we're just gonna stick with that. And behind the desk, the light strip that you're seeing is the light strip that connects to those Philips Hue bulbs. For my earbuds, I actually use in-ear monitors, which again, I will try to leave a link in the description down below to everything that I have here. I can't remember the specific brand of these in-ear monitors, but I recently switched to in-ear monitors because one, I feel like they're way more comfortable than some headphones sometimes. And I always end up with like horrible hair after wearing headphones for a long period of time. So when I was working from home, I was like, you know what? Might as well get some in-ear monitors and just eliminate that possibility. We also have right here, the Cooler Master MM710, my favorite light mouse of choice. It has the nice little like honeycomb design to it. Really, it's my favorite mouse so far. I have the MM711 at the office that has RGBs built in, so it's just a little bit better, but this is an awesome mouse. Highly recommend it. And then also this mouse pad, which is a Rick and Morty extended mouse pad. Honestly, I don't remember the last time I watched Rick and Morty. I just love the color scheme of Rick and Morty with all the bright, vibrant colors, so I thought it would look really nice on this desk. Over here, we have my favorite keyboard, which I'm going to crank the ISO real quick so you guys can see it. This right here, ladies and gentlemen, is the F96 Avocado from IQNix. If you watch the main channel, you know we've done ad spots with IQNix before, and I always end up using their keyboards whenever we do an ad spot. I always take one home. I had a wireless one that had Cherry MX Reds. This one has Cherry MX Silver switches, which sound really nice, honestly. And IQNix has been kind of like my gateway drug between eventually building my own keyboard and actually having a really high quality keyboard that is made of full aluminum. Let me give you all a typing test real quick. But yeah, that's my keyboard. I absolutely love it. In terms of microphone, we have a beautiful AT2020. Favorite XLR mic for the price. Oh, just a little over $100. It's honestly great. And I have that microphone running into the Euphoria UMC204 HD USB DAC, which allows me to get some pretty nice quality sound with it. And it does work out really well. The mic arm is this generic brand mic arm, which is kind of like a ripoff of the very popular Rode PS1 uh, mic arm. Uh, normally that mic arm is like a couple hundred dollars this one was only 40 and it is way more sturdy than those other really cheap mic arms that people always get for like 10 or 15 dollars so pay 40 dollars for this never have to replace the other ones this one has been really awesome for me and lastly we have our monitors here as long as i'm not forgetting anything comment down below if i did forget something but this right here is the pixio px277 prime this thing is an absolute beauty it is super bright has hdr support it is 165 hertz and 1440p absolutely love it. I don't play nearly as many games as I should on this monitor, but when I do, it looks so great, so crispy. I cannot complain. Over here on the left, we have a portrait monitor, which is actually a Scepter 4K panel that I've had for, well, maybe two years now. They used to sell this thing for like under $200 on Amazon and Newegg, and I was able to pick it up around that price point very often. They sadly don't really sell this thing anymore. I had someone on stream ask me about it, but for the money, it was really awesome at the time, and I'm always waiting to see if it comes back in stock because I might buy a third at some point to stack up here and have just another beautiful budget 4K panel. One thing I didn't forget to mention are these bass pulse speakers right here. Well, they really aren't anything crazy. They are just a cheap pair of speakers that Jackson actually got me. I would have to say I've had these things for about seven years now. They're really old speakers, but Jackson got them for me as a birthday present when we were younger and they've been working just fine. I don't really use speakers that much, but when I do, these have been absolutely great. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much my home office tour. Um, mainly, you all came for the desk. That's what I use it for. That's what it looks like. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smash the like button. Comment down below if you guys want to see any sort of tutorial content to the channel that I have not done yet. I'm always interested in doing so, and I have some more time to do so. So let me know what you want to see. And hopefully you guys do like this video. Hopefully you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.